Hey there, trail keepers. We're going to go over how to use the Gaia GPS app to uh, aid us in putting together a real nice scouting document. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is start your track or start the GPS following where you hike. And in the bottom left, you see a button that currently has time ticking up. You would press that button to start the recording. If we press it now, I have the ability to pause the recording or finish the track or delete the track. So once you have your track started, you will then at the point of the trail issue you've discovered, you'll press the photo button there next to that timestamp button. And that's going to bring up your camera. And then you take a picture of the trail. You hit use photo down there in the lower right. And now that's created a waypoint on my track that's tied to that photo. And if I touch that little waypoint, that little red waypoint icon, and then touch the eye in a circle on the right hand side, I'm able to edit this and I can change the name to correspond with my scout sheet. So I call this WP for waypoint one. And I can add notes like SL 30 feet. And I know with my scout sheet, SL is slough. So I know this photo represents 30 feet of slough at waypoint one. And I click the done button down there on the lower right. And after I've made all these edits, I can just hit the back button. They've already been saved. And that gets us back to our track. I'm at another point where I want to make a, a waypoint for discovery. So I'll hit my camera. I'll take a picture. And use it. Now say I want a different angle of that to add to that waypoint, I would touch that point and then touch the circled eye again. And you'll see in the lower third of your screen, the camera icon, if you touch that, you can take another picture, choose take picture at the top there. And now I can take a picture of the top section, use photo. Now you see it's added that second picture to this waypoint. And then I can take my notes. And we call this WP2. And then go down here to your notes. Add notes. And we go ST. 30 feet, and maybe I'll put sliding down hillside. That's not what they're doing, but for the purposes of the example, and then I hit done. Now we've got our notes. We've got two pictures. We've changed the waypoint to number two. Hit done. Back. And now we can just click in to make sure it's got everything we want. Change to WP2, hit info. There are our notes down here right underneath our two pictures, just the way we like it. Now that we have marked all of our waypoints and finished our scout, we will hit on that time button there on the lower left and finish our track. This kind of gives you your stats on the track. And at this point, you can export it, which is in the middle of this little menu here, to your Google Drive. You should have a selection of apps in this part uh, of your display. Um, you will need to download the Google Drive app and connect it to your Google account. 
if you uh, are not seeing the app in this little menu down here, you can click on the more button and it should come up in the suggestions. So we hit drive. Now I've got multiple Gmail accounts, so I'm gonna select my TKO account. Now the only thing that we really need to upload is the KMZ file and the JPEGs, um, but it's just gonna upload everything. I do like to change the name of my KMZ file to where I hiked. Oops. And then once I've changed the name, I just hit upload. And that'll put that into your Google Drive, which you can then um, upload into our uh, Google Form for importing your, uh, your Scout data, which we'll uh, go over later in this webinar.